Kingdom and welcome. I hope you had an amazing week. I know I did. Today we're going to be talking about how to stop worrying about what other people think about you. There are a few ways you can do it, but the first way and the most important way is to love yourself. Love yourself first. The more you love yourself, the less you'll be concerned with the opinions of others. Remember, we're not here to live up to the expectations of others. We are here to be original, authentic versions of ourselves. You need to get to know who you really are. You need to take time to discover that if you don't already know it. Because if you don't know it, someone will know it for you. Please yourself first. It is impossible to live up to the expectations of others. Different people have different expectations of you. And those expectations keep changing all the time. You will literally drive yourself crazy if you try to live up to the expectations of others. Please yourself first. When I was really little, there was a story about a man and his donkey and his son, and they were going to the market. So they were just going to the market, walking with each other, donkey carrying the things that they're going to sell in the market. And they came across some people and they were like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe you have that child walking. Why do you have the child walking? Let the child ride the donkey. So they walk around, man carrying a donkey, and it kept changing. The man, man, you should ride the donkey. Donkey should be carried. Everybody had a different opinion about how they should, and it just got ridiculous. And that is what happens in life. People keep expecting things from you. You keep changing to try and please them. And wh what happens? It's just crazy. Please yourself first. So, here's a secret. Most people don't even care about what you wear or what your educational status is, what car you drive. They don't care. Do you know why? Because they're so concerned about what other people are thinking about them. They don't have time to think about you. You're thinking about them, think about you. They're thinking about somebody else, thinking about them. And it's a vicious cycle that keeps repeating itself over and over. Stop the cycle. Constructive feedback, aka criticism, can be helpful, but in order for you to accept or reject that constructive feedback, you must be in a position where you're strong with who you are. You have a strong sense, rather, of who you are and know where you want to go in life. You have to develop that within yourself first. So who are these people you're trying to please anyway? your friends, your co-workers, your family, societal expectations. You had absolutely no input whatsoever in societal expectations. You need to decide for yourself what you expect from you. Release all of that stuff, forget all the social rules. Who do you want to be? You can't expect to fit into that mole that's been designed for you. Break the mole. Create the life that you want for yourself. Use your imagination. Be creative. Decide what you want to do, be, and have. In the words of Fritz Perls, lose your mind and come into your senses. I think what he's really trying to say is forget what other people are thinking about you and follow your heart. Who is inside? I hope you have an amazing week. As always, love always.